if you are done with uh, Manali Mall Road, Rotang Pass, Solang Valley and all these popular things to do in Manali and you are looking for something offbeat to do uh, in or near Manali, you may have to drive a little bit towards Kulu and come to Nagar. We are in Nagar in Himachal Pradesh which is around 25 kilometers from Manali. Today we are going to explore a hidden gem of this region tucked away in a very scenic location. Nicholas Royerick Art Museum in Nagar Kulu. We are here on October 3rd, just two days after the Himachal government opened Manali for tourists after Corona. Anyway, there are not too many takers for museums and post-Corona, we were not even sure if the museum is open for tourists. Lucky for us, the museum is open, but strangely, there is not a single soul here. Even the ticket window is closed. We started climbing up following the direction sign for the museum. From the ticket window, there's a little climb up, so not very suitable for elders or people with disabilities. Uh, but the climb is very beautiful, very, very beautiful. The Russian painter and explorer Nicholas Roerich settled in Nagar in the early 20th century. The Roerich estate, his two-floor house, is now a museum and key attraction of the town. The Roerick Art Gallery is about 2 kilometers from Nagar Castle that we have already covered in an earlier vlog. We are at the Roerick Museum at Kulu. Roerick Museum has been on a list for very long. Sandeep's last visit to Manali, it, he was a little disappointed because uh, they were shut for a very long lunch. Nikolai Roerick was a Russian painter who came and settled at Manali and made this place his home. This museum contains copies of his art, his painting, a lot of local artwork, stone carvings, uh, utensils, embroidery and all that, that he has collected from uh, this Kulu Nagar Manali region. The first room inside the gallery showcases Russian dolls, dresses and artifacts and establishes Roerich's Russian roots. The next room on the ground floor showcases the temple art and architecture in Kulu Valley. We were spellbound by an intricately carved wooden gate placed here. Another room in the gallery showcases famous yak or sheep wool kulu shawls, caps and mufflers with bright geometric patterns, hand-knitted woolen socks, tokru, the basketry of kulu, and metal plates bearing Hindu gods and goddesses. There are pattus or kulu wraparounds for women and Himachali scarves on display. On the other side, some beautiful pieces of Kangra paintings enhance the appeal of this gallery. Then there are brass repose god faces that are used to represent the deities during ceremonial processions. Although of religious origin, these items have a contemporary appeal and are sought after for drawing room decor. A big hand embroidered chamba rumal depicting Radha Krishna and Gopinis is like a showstopper centerpiece here. So the museum is split in two parts, uh, one part is on the other side, this part even shoes are not allowed so we had to take off our shoes outside. We were most impressed with the grand paintings by Roerich in bright colours that might seem a little too bright until you see the nature and the sky in Manali and Kulu Valley and then you realise from where do these works draw their exuberance. Roerich lived in various places around the world until his death in Nagar, Himachal Pradesh, India. This is marked as flags on a rotating globe inside another room in the gallery. The walls of this gallery are full of his paintings that he made at different times in different locations of his stay. A separate wall is reserved for Roerich's wife Helena's sketches. Contrary to Roerich, Helena's sketches are subtle, 
yet reflect her deep understanding of the subject. The building that now houses this gallery once served as the residence of Nicholas Roerich. Himachal Pradesh and the Russian government have formed a trust to run this art gallery as a heritage museum. While the ground floor has Roerich's artworks and collections from India and Russia, his private rooms have been preserved on the upper floor of the museum. A beautiful wooden palki, a palanquin, placed on this floor catches your attention as soon as you enter. Trained as an artist and a lawyer, Nicholas Roerich's interests also included literature, philosophy and archaeology. very beautiful art and heritage museum and uh, the tickets are uh, 50 rupees per person and there is uh, a separate charge for video and still photography videography is charged at 60 bucks and uh, still photography is charged at 30 rupees uh, per person You know, if you come here, then you can cover quite a few things in one stretch. So you can start, maybe start with Rorik Museum and then you can actually go to Tripura Sundari Temple, which is like in the vicinity and it's a very beautiful temple. And then below that is your uh, Nagar Castle, which is a great place and a lot of films have been shot there. So you can do all that in one stretch and then if you uh, are hungry, try the German bakery near the Nagar Castle. So you can do a lot of things in this. I mean, you don't have to come just for uh, Rorik Museum. There's a lot of stuff uh, in this area. The display is not boring at all. So there's a lot of stuff that children would like. A lot of paintings and hand-drawn sketches and um, interesting stuff. And it doesn't have that eerie feeling that a lot of museums that we've seen in the past have. So everything is well lit and uh, spacious and the displays are well in order. This is uh, Corona tourism time and we are probably the only visitors here. Places so basically it's well lit and it's very serene and tranquil and it's really how a museum should be. Collection is rich, it's not overcrowded but really fulfilling and then it holds everybody's attention. On our way out, we also saw the Kulu Raja's memorial stones displayed outside on the lawns. These stones mainly depict the outlawed Sati tradition in ancient India. Approximately one, one and a half hours should be okay time to uh, see this museum properly. With this, we come to the end of a series of Kulu Manali vlogs. Time for us to sign off from Manali. See you in another vlog. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to Delhi Fundus if you haven't done so already. Please press the bell icon to be notified for our next videos. Thanks and goodbye.